Are poop transplants the magical answer for weight loss or for increased athletic performance or improved health in some way? This is an increasingly popular paradigm that if you get the poop of someone who's very lean, very healthy, very athletic, and you transplant it into your intestines, either orally or transrectally, that somehow this will improve your health, improve your athletic performance or help you lose weight kind of as a hack, not really changing your diet at all, but just changing the bacteria in your intestines. Is this, is there any research to support this? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Good question. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with over 20 years of clinical experience. And I've had several patients approach me in years past with this idea of fecal transplant. Uh, there's actually YouTube videos about how you can do this yourself. There is some limited research that it does help some conditions like severe C. difficile infection and other uh, large intestinal problems. But the idea that you can increase your athletic performance or lose weight by transplanting someone else's poop bacteria into your own intestine uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So there's actually a new study that was published in the JAMA Open Access website, where and it's a randomized controlled trial, double-blinded, so that the participants and the researchers did not know if the people were getting the poop of a lean individual or their own poop. Now, in some cases, Fecal transplants are done transrectally. So you would get the poop and then you would insert it uh, kind of retrograde into your own large intestine. But in this case, they used an endoscopy method. So they, they introduced a scope down the patient's throat, through their stomach, into the first part of their small intestine, the duodenum. And in half the patients, randomly selected, they introduced the poop of a lean person, and I'm sure this was tested for infectious disease. Uh, it was probably tested for multiple things. And in the other half of randomly selected people, they introduced their own poop into their duodenum. And then they followed these people for several months. And what they found in this randomized, double-blinded controlled trial in humans, which is a very good research design, they found no weight loss whatsoever in these people. And all these people suffered from severe obesity and indeed were already in the pipeline to have bariatric surgery. So there was a there was an alternative thing waiting for these people up the road if the fecal transplant did not help them with weight loss. And indeed, it did not help whatsoever. And so the, I think this speaks not only to just direct fecal transplants. To uh, You know, some people want Tom Brady's poop so that they can try to increase their own uh, athletic performance. I'm, I shit you not, this is true. Uh, but also many people with severe obesity think, hope, dream, that if they could get the poop of a very lean, healthy person introduced into their intestine, that it would somehow make it easier or less hard for them to lose weight. And this study does not bear that out whatsoever. Uh, and I think this speaks to the larger question of probiotics, uh, I think that we'll find over the next five to 10 years that having the right kinds and the right ratios of bacteria uh, and also fungus and also uh, viruses in our intestines does affect our health, perhaps even affects our craving for junk foods. I think this will be found in the next three to 10 years of research, but currently there is no research that supports this whatsoever because our, our research into which bacteria are healthy, which tend to help you lose weight, which tend to help you uh, with athletic performance. We currently, even at the very highest levels of research, we, we as a species currently have no idea what the correct bacteria are, what the correct ratios of bacteria are. We have no idea, but I, I do think we will discover at least some of these things that help us, but currently we have no idea. So if someone is selling a probiotic online and they're like, this will help you lose weight, 
there is zero research to support that. If, if your next door neighbor who's very lean and healthy uh, tries to sell you their poop, either in capsules or as a fecal transplant, save your money because currently this does not appear to help at all with weight loss. Hope this video didn't gross you out, but I do hope that it helped you. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.